Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. And I'm here today on, well, not the last day of the year, but the last day that I share devotion of the year. It's the last day before New Year's Day, which comes on Sunday. And so I think it's appropriate here at the end of, well, end of the Christmas season and end of the year, to share this passage with you that relates to what we've been talking about. Luke chapter 2, verses 19 says, But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. Here the wise men have come and made their comments, which is the end <clears throat> of the Christmas saga began, as you remember, with the declaration that she would be favored of God and given birth to a child, and living through the nine months without being married. And then the census was called and they had to run to Jerusalem. And then she gave birth there and couldn't find a place to do it. And then here come some shepherds and angels and all kinds of stuff that certainly would have, shall we say, caused some consternation in the life and the heart and mind of this lady, this woman chosen by God. And so it, you know, ends in an appropriate manner in which it says that she treasured all these words. I. You know, I can't imagine how you would feel after being told all these things and after experiencing all these things. And it's one thing to, to treasure them and appreciate them and, and enjoy the moment of them. But then it goes further and says, and she pondered them in her heart. I like the word ponder. We don't use it much in our language today. Ponder means to think about it, to think about it some more, kind of turn the idea around, look at it from another angle, and then turn it again and look from another angle. And to, pondering is a process, it's not an event, a process of thinking and rethinking and rethinking about something. And she's pondering all of these events and all of these moments of Christmas that eventually would culminate in Easter 30 some years later, but that's a whole other story. and I won't get into that today. But the idea that she thought this experience was so profound she wasn't going to let it go. She wasn't going to let it be a one-time thing and then maybe remember it 30, 20, 15, 10 years later. She kept it alive. To ponder something is to keep an idea alive. Now, that doesn't mean to worry. Worry is to be concerned about what's going to happen and fear and all of that kind of stuff. Pondering just means you keep the thoughts stirring around up here. And I think that's appropriate for you and for me. Here we are at the end of the year 2022. Next week it's going to be 2023. And think about all the things that God has done in your life in this past year and in these past years. And keep those thoughts at the forefront of your thinking for the year 2023. Now, the Old Testament tells us that there are many commandments to tell this to your children, tell this to celebrate this so your children will remember. The idea being, the more we remember what God has done, the easier it is, easier it is to see God at work in the present or in the future. You see, you and I have a very, very small vision 
point in our lives. We see the right now. Maybe we think we see the next little bit. That's why some of us keep calendars. So we'll know what's going to happen in a week or so. But if you're like me, my calendar constantly changes. I mean, I had a, a doctor's appointment recently, and the weather report said it was going to be terrible weather. So I went ahead and canceled it, remade it for the month of January. And sure enough, the weather was terrible. But you know what? I don't know whether the weather's going to be any good that day in January or not. I just sort of assume that. Well, when we think about, when we ponder God's working in our lives, then we're prepared for whatever comes down the road. Mary had a lot to go through. Scripture doesn't tell us a lot. But can you imagine the burden of raising this child? I mean, how do you discipline God's son? How do you give wisdom to one who has all wisdom? How do you tell your son about God when he already has an experience that predates anything you've imagined? No, Mary's struggles and difficulties were actually just beginning. And so were ours. I don't know where you are in life. I don't know what the year 2023 is going to hold for you. But I do know this. If we will keep focused and keep at the front of our mind what God has already done, then it'll be a whole lot simpler to trust him for what he's going to do. And even if you you don't think God's ever done anything for you, I think that's probably not true. I, I think there are lots of things that God has done if we just ponder about it. So that's my word for you today as we, as we end this year and move into the next one. Ponder. Think about what God has done. And you'll be blessed because of it. And your faith will be strengthened. And your ability to, to go through whatever comes up will be greatly increased. Well, thanks so much for listening to me today and this week and all this last year. I hope it's been a good one. I'll be back on Monday and share some other thoughts. If you have a need or a concern, let us know. We'll do whatever we can as fast as we can to help meet your need. Thanks for listening. Have a great weekend. God bless you.